Welcome to the Staten Island Technical High School Academic Policy Guide where I will be briefly reviewing the updates and improvements made to our school's academic policy based upon student caregiver and faculty feedback. The Staten Island Technical High School Academic Policy can be accessed via siths.org under the Academics tab. The Academic Policy is outlined over three pages. Let's begin by starting on page 1. At the top of the page is now listed the end dates for all fall and spring marking periods in addition to the dates in which grades will be shared via progress report, report card, and will be viewable on the NYCSA website. Student and caregiver expectations for staying in touch via the various communications platforms as well as using the course contracts as an additional guide towards understanding the unique details of each course is an important reminder that is now included on the academic policy. Caregivers are encouraged to activate their New York City schools account to ensure that they are not missing out on keeping up to date with their child's academic progress. We are now using a combination of three grading rubric formats, incremental numerical, letter, and mastery grades, for individual assessments, depending on the format of the feedback, whether it be tests, quizzes, papers, projects, etc., whichever of the three is most appropriate for a particular assessment. For purposes of progress reports, report cards, and a student's high school transcript, the numerical equivalent of the letter grade scale, shown in the dashed box will be utilized. Staten Island Tech continues to employ the Everything Counts Universal Grading Policy, where a student's grade is calculated and represented as 80% learning progress and 20% habits of success. For equity, fairness, and clarity purposes, we are clearly defining and outlining what differentiates a test from a quiz. A test is defined as any in-class assessment longer than 10 minutes and must be scheduled on the assigned subject-specific testing day, with students informed at least five school days in advance. Multiple day exams must be scheduled on the assigned subject-specific testing days. A quiz is defined as any in-class assessment shorter than 10 minutes or 20 minutes for a double-period class. Quizzes may occur on any given day without announcement and are weighted less than 50% of what a test is weighted. Instructors will ensure that the amount of material covered is within reason for the time frame for a student to prepare well for an equitable assessment. Let's proceed to page 2 of the academic policy. We've made a clearer criteria for how to achieve mastery on habits of success, which encompasses 20% of a student's class grade, through sharing a set of behaviors under engagement and responsibility that need to be consistently demonstrated. A deadline is now clearly defined as the final date when an assignment assessment can be submitted with the opportunity to earn full credit. In terms of lateness of assignments and assessments, a late assessment assignment cannot earn full credit. Instructor prior approval is required for an assessment assignment to be submitted late. Extensions for full credit will only be granted on a proactive case-by-case -case basis per instructor discretion. Discretion is up to the instructor, communicated via the class contract, for how late an assignment assessment can be submitted to earn credit. The testing schedule policy establishes a consistent testing structure, by subject discipline where each core discipline has the opportunity for two full period assessments within a week's time. We will rotate the schedule at the beginning of each fall and spring term. Our attendance policy encourages students and caregivers to use their best judgment to determine when it is most suitable for a student to refrain from attending school or activities due to illness or family emergencies business. Staten Island Tech does not recognize reward perfect attendance. Assessments and assignment makeups will be scheduled with the teacher upon the first day the student is in attendance after absence, to be administered in the classroom or using the restorative assessment center during a student's lunch period. The assessment assignment will be graded as a zero until correspondence from a caregiver via note, email or phone call is received acknowledging that the student missed the originally scheduled assessment assignment is submitted to the instructor. 
For certain assessments assignments a restorative assessment opportunity may only be offered at the discretion of the instructor, as described in the course contract. The student must demonstrate a timely, thorough, and authentic attempt at mastering the assessment assignment prior to making the request, as described in the course contract. In the event of a student earning a failing marking period grade, the instructor will contact the caregiver via phone or email when a student is in danger of failing the marking period. In the spirit of social-emotional wellness, SITHS has a non-ranking policy and therefore does not select a valedictorian nor a salutatorian. All students who are enrolled in an AP course are expected to take the AP exam. Failure to take the AP exam may affect your enrollment for future AP courses. Failure to take the AP exam will be communicated as part of the college application process, as described in the academic policy. Newly included in the academic policy is clarity on Staten Island Tech's academic honesty policy as it pertains to instances of cheating, plagiarism and colluding. Please take the time to review this policy as students caught participating in such actions will result in the creation of a dean's record, impact National Honor Society eligibility, limit and exclude participation in extracurricular activities, potentially lead to a principal suspension and notification sent to a student's intended post-secondary school college or institution for repeat offenses.